So, what you experience is, is a healing crisis. Okay, this means that your symptoms of the pains you have will probably get worse, and you probably get dizziness, headaches, fevers. Um, it could be anything. It could be pus coming out of the eyes. It depends on what the issue is, and the body is trying to ex push out all the toxins. And because for years you've been eating the meat products, and the milk products, and you've been laughing at the vegans and the fruitarians that they have things the wrong way, you have to pay the price. The price is all the accumulated waste, pus, and mucus. It has to come out. There's no other way to come out through uh, your bowels, your skin. Um, your, your skin is your, third, is your third kidney. So stuff comes out. You get fevers through it. You, you have to sweat. Um, it, it can come different, different ways. The list below, I have a list below. You can see it. It shows the symptoms that you, you might get. And you have two choices. You can be strong and say, I'm going through this because you're already in it. If you stop right now, if you, you quit, then all that effort is, is wasted. You have to restart again. But since you're in it already, if it, were, if it were me, I would continue. You need a very strong mind. You need to believe what you're doing is correct. You need to understand that nature or whoever or God, whatever you call it, is pushing the stuff off for you. You need to pray and meditate. You need to have a strong mind. You do not need sympathy. You do not need your friends and family beside you because they will pull you down. They will stop you. They will say, go see a doctor. If you are sick, if you feel you are sick, and only you will know this, you, you have to go to a doctor, okay? This is up to each individual. I, I, the list is there. You can go by field. You can see what it is, and you can determine. But um, if you are strong, you go through it because it's just temporary. It's just a few days. You sleep. You rest. You read a book. You go outside for a walk if you can. If you're dizzy, you can stay home and sleep, sleep, sleep. Animals, when they're sick, they sleep. They sleep. That's all they do. They sleep the whole day. You can do the same thing. So you have to decide, you know. I truly care about you. I want you to heal. I want you to succeed. But um, in the end, it's you who's doing it, not me. And if you, don't, if you can't pass through this, um, the, the, the illness just accumulates. That's it. You have to decide. What's 30 days? You've, you've taken a lifetime years and years of accumulation to obstruct the body with health and now only for a few days a few weeks you are going through this healing crisis i think it's well worth the price to pay but it's entirely up to you i do care about you i do want you to succeed and um i do have my my thoughts and feelings are with you i i you want i have you have to know that and i'm very proud of you doing this but at the end it's only you can decide and only you is going through this so like I said, don't ask for sympathy. Don't look for sympathy around you. The people around you will not help you. They will give you food to slow you down. And if they give you cooked food and heavy food, that's it. It sets you back. You, if you want to slow the healing crisis down, have avocados. They are raw foods, and, but they'll slow it down, and they'll give you some energy. You can have bananas as well. Or, or worst case, a salad. But has, don't use cooked dressing. Use regular dressing like lemon or olive oil. But then go back the next day. If, if you feel you have to, to slow it down, Okay, it, 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 use the, those foods to tame it down, and then when you can't, go back to the healing. That's the dry, the dry fasting and the lemon fast.